Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijou Tail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful flower mandala earrings. They're easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. So if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for these earrings are four colors of 11 0 seed beads. Here I use ear wires. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors and you could use pliers but they are not obligatory. Only if you need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle which is about two and a half, three feet of thread and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to do is pick up 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay, and I have here 12 on my needle, three times four. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot, okay? And I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going with my tail thread twice or three times through the loop I've made and I'm pulling gently. Then what I want to do is make one more knot. Make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. And pull. Okay guys, now I have this. And what I do in my next step is that I go through several beads in this direction. Okay. Now I'm going to take two green beads here. And I'm going back in circle through these two black beads just like that okay then i'm going in the next two black beads like this taking two more green beads and going back in circle through these two black beads and then I'm going to repeat this step until the end of this row. Okay guys, now this is what I have and in my next step what I do is that I go through one of those green beads, okay, like this and now it's easier for me to flip my work in this direction and what I want to take is one black bead and I go through the other green bead that's next to this one then I'm taking one black and I'm going through the center to the outside through the following bead. Okay. Then I'm taking one black bead and I'm going 
from the outside to the center okay like this then one black and from the center to the outside edge another black from the outside edge to the center and I'm going to continue doing this until the end of this row Okay guys, now I have this and what I want to do at this stage is cut my tail thread because it's on my way all the time and now it's safe to cut it and now what I'm going to take on my needle are two yellow beads, three red beads and two yellows. This is what I have. I'm skipping the black one here and going through the following green. Okay, just like this. Then I'm going to the next black and green. And I'm taking two yellows, three red beads and two yellows. Okay, and I'm going, skipping the black one, going in the following green. And after I do this, my goal will be to exit out of my next green bead. Okay, let's say here. And now guys, I will continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I'm here at the last step of this row and as I'm exiting from one of my green beads I'm going I'm skipping the black one and going through the other green bead and I also went through the following black and what I want to do now is go through this green and through the first of those two yellow beads so I'm between the yellows here and now as I'm between the yellows, it's easier for me to flip my work. I want to go in this direction, okay? So what I do here is take two black beads and go here. Okay, then go through those red beads here at the top and then through the red and through the yellow and I'm still here between those two yellows and I take two more black beads and I go here between the yellows one more time okay like this then again between those two yellows and take two black beads and go between the yellows okay and now guys I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be ready to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm just adding the last three beads from this row and what I do next is go through the, this very top three red beads and take three blacks then go here through the next three red beads okay through these three red beads take three blacks go through the next three Take three, go through the following three beads, okay guys, and continue this until the end of this row. 
Okay, and here I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Just like this. Okay. Then what I want to do is go here and exit through these two black beads from my second row that consists of two beads. Okay, and I'm exiting here out of this yellow bead that's next to the to the red beads okay and i take one black and go in the same yellow and in the next yellow two blacks yellow and i pull then again one black go here in this yellow and in the following two blacks and yellow you see where i'm going and pull again one black go in the following yellow and two blacks yellow okay and continue this until the end of this row and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am where I add my last black bead here okay now there is a slight bend here that I like so much and this will be the front side of my work and now what I do is that I go through this black bead and I want to take three blacks and go through the following black and then through the next two reds if you can do this in one movement if not you could do this in two movements okay now i'm taking three black beads and i'm going back in circle in this red one and in this way i'm forming right angle with okay then in the red and in the following black okay take three black beads skip this black and go in the black in the third black and in the next two red beads okay then take three black beads go back here through this red one forming a loop okay then through the next red and black and take another three beads okay And now guys, this is basically what I do until the end of this row and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and these are the last three beads that I'm adding here. And the last thing I should do is to add my ear wire, okay? And in order to do this, I'm going here in this direction. And I'm exiting here out of the edge. Okay, and because this work has a slight bend to it, I want this to be the front side of my earring. And I will take my ear wire in this direction. Take one seed bead, then my ear wire, then one more seed bead. So this is what I have on my needle. And I will go back in circle through this black bead. Okay, and I want to reinforce here this joint by going around several times through it. Okay. And I will go here through some beads in this direction. 
and I want to go at the back of my work and here I want to make a knot and I will make a knot by finding a place here and I want to make a loop between two beads okay making a loop then I'm going once and I'm going a second time through this loop I've made I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and then what I want to do is go through the following seed bead and by the way you could repeat this knot several more times if you want but when you finish go through the following seed bead and then cut your thread you don't want to be next to your knot when you cut okay and now guys my flower mandala earring is ready okay guys and now my flower mandala earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me